Uh, the kids have been working for several weeks on some prototypes of toys that are actually going to be sent um, on our medical missions to give to our patients to bring them comfort and joy uh, before and after surgery. We were given the assignment to create a toy for the Smile Bags in Operation Smile and we decided to create a car but we wanted to make it unique in our own way. We decided to add a mirror to the front of the, the bottom of the car so they could see their smiles after their surgery. And so what we're doing is looking at them meeting with um, a representative from Ford who's going to actually come in and they're going to pitch the idea to him next week and hopefully uh, hoping that he'll be able to fund their product. They can sit there and roll this on the ground and look at their new smile and how their lives have changed so drastically. It just makes us feel that we've really accomplished something. The main program that I run is called Schools Restoring Oysters to the Chesapeake. For the students, the one of the exciting parts of the partnership is that they get to be exposed to oysters and they get to be a part of a really large scale oyster restoration effort and that's exciting for the students to feel like they have the ability to make a difference in the environment. Okay, we have a really fun partnership with Lincoln Park Elementary School. We have a student-run credit union there. I'm a teller and when people come up with their money and they usually come with an account number and on the deposit slip and the receipt we put the account number and then we put their name, the date, how much money they have or a check. So that they have a lot of um, multitasking going on and a lot of responsibility. We do a lot of math for accounting the money. It's not just like opening up the textbook and doing some work. It's more like actually having it in your hand and doing it. We're learning about saving money and how it's important to have money always and not to just spend it. And once they get that mindset, and the earlier, the younger kids, then they get that mindset, it empowers them. It doesn't matter if they're a millionaire or they just have a penny in their pocket. They're going to carry that along with them. I partnered with uh, Lanstown Elementary, the gifted resources teacher over there named Kim Cabotaje. The project was to design and construct uh, a learning lab, so a greenhouse uh, and a shed and a garden um, that was designed and constructed by the kids. It, they obviously get an enriched curriculum uh, and uh, you know an expansion of the sort of um, uh, you know, learning experience, right, by way of the structures themselves, but also the curriculum that's tied into them. So the partnership with uh, Virginia Star is uh, kind of a multifaceted partnership. Um, it's got a lot of different benefits. Uh, one of the first ones being that we are keeping computers and uh, electronic devices out of the landfill. We're actually refurbishing them, repurposing them. Um, if we cannot refurbish them, uh, they actually are recycled down in uh, my classroom. Not only though are we recycling, but we're providing working computers to uh, families and students in need in the community as well as community centers. And we also are providing uh, real world hands-on skills to uh, the students that are participating in this partnership. So they are working, uh, getting actual 21st century technology skills while working towards industry cert level certifications. We have partnered up with all kinds of students and clubs from Old Nation School. They've come out. Um, I've also brought students out here to this school. And our focus is promote sustainability and to understand um, environmental education. Our kids are developing much more confidence in themselves. They're developing much more confidence in their understanding of the environment. And they're really building a relationship with people and for the kids at Old Nation, I think it's important because they are kids from all over the city. So when they come to our gardens, we tell them this is our garden now, and they actually come in the summer and work with our kids side by side, and it is an amazing, beautiful thing. Centera actually allows us to come into the clinical space, which is wonderful for the students. So it bridges the gap between what they're learning in the classroom, what they're learning in the skills lab, and then bringing that into that clinical experience. We get a lot more hands-on practice that we can use at the end of the year when we go to clinicals, which is where we actually go to a facility and practice all the skills that we've been learning. Centera does such a wonderful opportunity by providing not just the clinical time, but allowing their staff 
to teach us too. So we've had training from diabetic instructors. We've had training from the wound care specialist, from the IV therapy team. They've opened the doors for us to, the students have actually seen operations. Our students have gone from an LPN, gone back to college, gotten their BSN, uh, recently found out that one of our students got, their, got her doctorate and she's now um, a nurse practitioner as well. The partnership between this school, my school, and Cook Elementary is mentors who are high school students come as many times a month as they can and they spend about an hour with the students here at Cook Elementary and they do their homework with them and they play games with them. They get a friend to talk to it's like a big sister, big brother program, and I get happiness from just sitting with other children and just hearing their everyday life because when I see one of the little girls smile, it just makes me so happy. The partnership between Tallwood High School and Tallwood Elementary School started in the spring of 2015 with one of the Academy students' senior projects. Some, uh, there's one on music, the history of African American music in the United States everything from spirituals to jazz to dance and how that all plays together. In 2017, we started a Be A Reader program with Tallwood Elementary where students from Tallwood come over and mentor Tallwood Elementary school students in reading. We help them along if they can't figure out a word. and We talk about the book after. Each time we're coming to read with them, they're starting to like start less using their fingers to point out the words. I think it's important that the younger students see there's more to the world than what we see around us. That they start to get exposed and become global citizens. That's part of the Compass to 2020. Really important that they start learning that younger. 